it's your boy Crank Daddy Productions, and we're back on another video. Except this time, I'm switching up with the gameplay. I'm gonna take a little break from Assassin's Creed. I'm still gonna uh, record some gameplay, and I'm still gonna post them out. But for now, we're gonna start a new series called, uh, if you can't tell by the screen, Watch Dogs 2. That's right. Except this time, I am gonna be playing with the controller. You guys can see some content on Steam, not Steam, Twitch. But yeah, this this is the the part that I uh, started in. There wasn't a tutorial or anything, just pretty much what it's saying right now. Infiltrate the CTOS data center. I don't even know the dude's name. I think I can make that. Oh, nope. I would say full. Cool. But yeah, I hope you guys like this new uh, this new game. I'm excited to be playing it. I had it downloaded for like, or not downloaded, but I bought it like a month ago and I just haven't played it. Just been waiting for a good time to play it. And I think right now will be the best time. Oh, we got the channel boom. Let's go ahead and. Oh, I played the first one for a little bit. It was pretty tight. Uh, I liked Aiden Pierce's uh, story, it's pretty nice. I've been excited to play this. This security corpse dude makes 82,000 a year. That's fine. Oh. Um. Oh, sorry. I know I'm garbage. I have a stun gun. Cool. Ooh, nice. I don't know if that's how that was supposed to go down, but it did. Alright, let's go ahead and run up behind this dude. Yeah, choke him out. Alright, awesome. Now that we got that taken care of, we can move along. Oh, what is this, some dough? I can go for some dough. Smartwatch. Ooh. I have six thousand dollars. Alright. We are on some March Dogs too. But yeah, like I said, I, I I played a little bit of it. It was like it wasn't any of the story though. It was just after you beat the game and you get that free roam. Uh, Option. I just a friend showed me it, and I thought it was pretty tight. I just never got around to play it myself. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. All right, so it looks like the main or our character's name is Marcus Hallway. Look at those graphics, man. Speaking of which, um... If you guys want, in the next episode, I definitely can show you the graphic settings on this one as well. Just in case you guys want to play it for yourself and get that realistic feel. This isn't even the highest settings can go, but it still looks really good. Retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. Find the access key. You think it was on one of those guys? Sorry, I'm getting used to the controls because, like I said, I, I just started this up. Started recording. You gotta hold it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. 
Nice, look at that, we're already top tier hackers. There you go, I'm guessing we got access to the first level now. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive hear me? on the hardest difficulty. Nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Oh no! Oh snap! Oh! I didn't reach you. Come on, give yourself up! Oh snap! <laughs> Sorry, I know if you guys didn't know from if you've been watching my Assassin's Creed Let's Play, uh, you'll find out that I'm absolute garbage. Let's ride him back. Let's see. So what did we do last time? So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in. <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC and That would suck, this is like a, I don't Figured know what this is, like a, a ball string attached On the hardest difficulty, to another nobody's ball. been able to delete their CTOS yeah, profile weapons. before I wanna see if he's smart, stubborn, or both He'll probably... Nah, I'm not gonna risk it, I was gonna say he probably will notice the body but then like just Go about his day like nothing happened, but I'd rather take him out not give him a chance to spot me. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and hack into this. Oh, shut down the server tower. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock this dude out. Ooh, in the face. My dude is a... Is he a born assassin as well? I think I can't like get up close to the walls and like peek around the corners. Let's see what we got here. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech burglary, so. He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system. Always in the system. There you go. Holy shit! Climb you went the for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Wipe your profile. Nobody's gonna know the name of Marcus Holloway. How long these episodes are gonna be, but he's going in the hot aisle. I'm just play until we, you get tired of me. It's much. at least 120 degrees in there. 120. He's in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Oh, you guys know about that secret cow level, like in a uh, Diablo. Three. All right, now how do I get down? I guess in the same way I came up. Oh, it's showing the way to go. Oh, can I open it now? Nice! Look at this! Master Hackers! And I've seen some gameplay on this, so you can do some really cool stuff. I don't think I'm gonna do the multiplayer. 
part of it just because I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any friends that have this game, let alone on the computer. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? So, I think I'm gonna solo this. Noodle search, anime, hardcore purple hair elf. Woo! What you been looking up? This is bullshit. I could just bleed it off. Forty two percent. I basically just wiped my profile. Now I'm not a threat. Create new profile, cool. I'm guessing one of these people are gonna be framed. And these are high like high tier people. Like di director of first impressions. Drug mule. If I'm gonna get caught by anybody, you might as well be a, uh, or if I'm gonna get framed or frame someone else, you might as well be a person. I'm gonna drop a little right? back door into the system right. so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and find the boss. Know it all. You catch that? Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty clean. Let's track this guy down. He just had $175 time. Are we escaping? Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> that was. How did he land like that? Fuck you, Bloom. <clears throat> Ooh. That is In 2013, valid. Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. All right, I want to mention real quick that all that that lady said is definitely true in the, the new age, but nowadays there's more... Uh, Am I in? There's more software and malware and stuff to protect you, so it's not Welcome as serious in terms of driving and everything, but still, it's still a threat worth 
taken into consider, but that dude has a really dope mask, and I'm gonna let you guys listen to this cutscene. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. All right, looks like we're in a new crew. So I got kidnapped to join a new crew, but probably for safety measures. That thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah, it's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. So we know that our main character is the uh, is the cursing man. He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey man. Do you have the time? Oh yeah, man. My dude was my dude was urinating. While this dude just casually jogged by and started talking to him. It's kind of late for like what? night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. He did say he was gonna have Hello? a good time. Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. I'm not gonna lie, I have to tell myself that every day <laughs> when I get ready to go into work. Yo, whose place am I in? Ooh, a little cheeky. But there we go, now entering Marin. I wonder if that's the place. Yeah. I guess I was lit, Disney huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Dead, dead go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, Transform and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So show. hit the store and download your app. Is this my apartment or house? Damn, walk the shame on my first day. I like the fit, though. I like the fit. It's pretty clean. But there we go, there's the first episode of Watch Dogs 2, it's 63 degrees, I wish it was that degrees here, but instead it's like, it's supposed to be like 94. Anyways, yeah, there's the first episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys are ready for more episodes to come, I know I'm ready. Um, I can probably get another video up later today, if not today, don't worry about it, i get up another one tomorrow, after work, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, or had a laugh, 
or something made you laugh so hard you cried, peed, whatever, then go ahead and smash that like button, drop a comment below in the comment section, let me know how you felt about the video. Subscribe, and all my notifications are in the bottom, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, so that way you know when I upload and everything like that, I'll get that thing popped, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and follow it, so that way you can be ready for what's to come. And other than that, I don't have anything else to say, and I'm out. Yeah.